stay tuned to the end of this video for a giveaway. What's up my kings and queens? If you're new here, my name is Samara aka Spice Island Empress. If you're not new and a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for always watching my videos and staying tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you're notified every time a video goes live and um, let's get into this video. But before we get into this video, I have once again collaborated with Dossier. For those of you who do not know what Dossier is, Dossier reproduces high-end luxury fragrances and recently now candles for a fraction of the price um, for designer perfumes such as YSL, Tom Ford, Chanel, Victor and Roth, and the list goes on. Dossier also um, creates perfumes for both the men and women and unisex perfumes and the prices range from $29 to up to $59 which is really affordable. If you click the link in my description box you can um, enter the code Samara10 at checkout to receive 10% off your order. So the first perfume I'm going to show you guys today is um, called Oriental Cherry and it is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So so as the, again this is how sleek the box is as you guys can remember from the last video that I did from dossier really simple and it has dossier at the bottom and then you open it up and it also has again the leaflet and then the perfume inside So the top notes for this perfume is cherry, almond, cinnamon. The middle notes are clove, cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum. And the base notes are Peru, balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. So let's see how this smells. Hmm. So from the bottle, it smells really good. Let's see. Some other particles went into my nose. It smells good though. I actually like how it smells. <clears throat> oh lord. I inhaled it. So, it actually smells good. I do have the, a sample of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry to compare. So I will do that. But this smells, it actually smells good. I mean, so I'm going to spray it on the back of my hand. Ooh. I'm just going to spray on this. Ooh. Let that sink in a bit. Other the at the top, I don't really like that the. I think it's they call it like the base notes. I'm not really feeling that. I mean, let it dry um, a little bit. But um, this perfume retails for forty nine dollars. And like I said, with um, my code Sumera10, you can get 10% off or you can go to the site right now and they're having a Black Friday sale so you can get it for much less. <sighs> to be honest, the perfume, I think it needs to like settle in a little more. There's some, uh, there's a scent that I just do not like about this. Maybe I should let it sink in more. So while it's sinking in more, I'm gonna um, get the sample of the actual Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So I actually have this sample of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Um, let's see how this smells compared to the dossier. This smells like alcohol, like straight up alcohol. I'm going to put it in the back of my hand here to see. 
because it smells like straight up alcohol. Like they put alcohol in a bottle and sell it to me. Should I have shaken it? Does that make a difference? Let's see. I don't know. I put it in the back of my hand. It just smells like straight up alcohol. okay so now the dossier it does come true now that it's settled in it smells amazing i can't really tell exactly what it smells like so let me see from the base notes let me see what i can smell i think i can smell the vanilla probably the cherry And the rose as it's like into my skin like it dried a bit it smells really good however I don't the actual Tom Ford this smells just like straight up alcohol like they put alcohol in the let me not I'm not smelling anything which is really weird so the second scent that I have this one is called gourmand white flowers and it is inspired by um flower bomb by victor and ross if i'm saying that right see the name do i see at the bottom and the notes at the top so the top notes are bergamot green tea freesia berries um the middle notes white flowers orchid and rose and the base notes musk patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. Okay. From the bottle, it smells good. Let's see on the... Um, hmm. This actually smells good. Like right off the, the, the spray, it actually smells really good. I love this perfume so this is uh, <laughs> straight up this is my favorite from these two scents because you actually smell it right on now I'm going back on smelling this it smells like a hospital I don't like it but the um the gourmand white flowers that smell ooh that smells so good so I also have the um, sample of the Victor Vlauban, Victor and Rolf. So let me get that and see how it is compared to Gorman White Flowers by Dossier. So this is a sample. I hope this don't smell like. I hope this don't smell like um alcohol again. Ooh. So this one doesn't smell like alcohol. Let me put it in the back here I have to figure out this time for last cherry sample yeah this smells really good let me see how it is compared to um, the actual very similar very similar yeah this is a really it's almost spot on the, the same it's almost spot on I think the dossier is a little more fruity or a little more flowery if that makes sense and then the Victor and Wall or Victor and Ralph it's a little more subtle but um, I do love this the the gourmet white flowers by Dossier it smells amazing based on the notes what does uh, do I smell the smell the flowers I smell the flowers 
maybe just a little bit of the rose and probably the berries um, so this one is retail for $29 and um, oh both bottles are 1.7 fluid ounce just so you guys um, aware of how many ounces you get in the bottle so out of the two um, scents that I showed you from Dossier my favorite my absolute favorite would be the Garmin white flowers I think it smells really flowery and um, fruity just a little bit but um, it's it smells good it's something that probably someone would be able to smell off of you um, compared to the actual um, sample of the um, Victor and Rolf flower bomb it smells actually good um, it's still, actually it smells really stronger I don't know because I only like put a little bit on my um, backhand but it's actually much more flowery and um, berry like than the actual sample I'm smelling the Tom Ford sample just a little bit, not that much. Maybe I need to put the actual bottle on my hands, um, like more of the sample. Compared to the dossier, I'm not, it's giving a, a smell that I kind of love but kind of hate at the same time. I, I honestly don't know what it is. But it's not something that I would reach for, if you understand. It smells okay. That's what I would say. It smells okay. It's not something that I would say, okay, yes, I must have. However, the Garland white flowers, yes, I must have. <laughs> it smells good. I'm not sure how long these scents would last on my skin, but I'm hoping that it lasts all day. Let's get into this video. So today's video, um, I am going to show you pieces that I already have in my wardrobe. However, these pieces have never been worn, but they have been in my wardrobe so I just wanted to put together a fall winter um, like a lookbook an outfit so you guys have an idea of what to piece together that's already in your wardrobe so you can have these fall or winter outfits all right so this is the first outfit that I have it is this long sleeve pullover shirt actually this is actually like a actual pullover and not a dress but I'm wearing it like a dress as you can see um, I'll put the sizing um, on the screen um, so yeah it's this hunter green pullover sweatshirt um, it has these um, crisscross ribbon crossed like this side and then also on the, the arm all the way down and it also has a split which is really cute um, this is what the back is looking like pretty simple I'm not sure what the front says something about New York and Arizona um, yeah so it's a really cute um, pullover and I paired it with these thigh high boots um, Again, I'll link all these um, things in the description box if they're still available. If not, I'll try to look for something similar. And also this bag that I got from Shein. I'll also try to link this as well. And this is the first outfit and I actually love this. I love that it has a split um, and the ribbon that goes down and over on this side as well. And I just put on my um, accessories, my impress chain, um, this ring, I think it's from by Lolita, if I'm not mistaken, and these rings are from, ooh, this might be from AliExpress, I'm not too sure, or also from by Lolita, I'm not sure. The arm candy um this is from Ana Luisa and then this um bangle is from Lulu's and the earrings um are from Shein 
yep so this is the first outfit um i hope you guys like this one it's one of my favorites yeah so let's get on to the other one so this is the next outfit um i love this jacket y'all i got this jacket actually last year and from aliexpress um i know they have like two different types of shipping they have shipped being shipped from the US and being shipped from China. I think I chose the US option and it probably came in like a week or a week and a half, uh, which is not bad. Um, I again will put the price on the screen and link in the description box. So I love this jacket, it's really comfortable you guys. Look at the inside. It is nice, kind of white. I really love how the inside has this coating and does a sleeve yes it's all the way inside as well in the sleeve let me see if you guys can see yep right here and the fluffy edge oh this is so cute I love this outfit and the fluffy collar I love this jacket it also has a zip as you can see the zip in the front it has a drawstring somewhere Oh yeah, in the bottom. In the bottom, it has a drawstring, so you can, um, if you need to like have it more cinched in, you can. And also, it has pockets. I love these pockets; they're so huge. Wait a minute, they're not actually pockets, guys. They're not actually pockets, so that's kind of like a bummer. Um, but there is pockets here on this oh the pockets is actually on the side okay so the pockets is on this side which is cute so you can put your hands in if you're a little bit chilly um, so yes yeah, so this is a jacket this is what the back is looking like really cute and I paired this jacket with this Fashion Nova knitted dress it's really cute I really love it Lord, look at me falling um it goes down under the knee as you can see so it's like a midi sweater dress really cute and it does have a turtleneck well it is a turtleneck um sweater yeah so it's a really comfortable dress it is also um a long sleeve so as you can see it's a long sleeve dress really cute um put this back on this jacket is so warm and comfortable you guys this outfit is a vibe <coughs> it really is I'm, I'm really loving it and it also has um what do you call this um not a coating but like is doubled and the, the dress is doubled so um it's not like a see-through dress <sighs> so yeah this is what the back is looking like and i also this outfit put paired this uh bag this is like an inspired um dupe of the Bottega I got this bag from Shein again I will link all these things in the description box if they're not available I will link something similar if I can find them and also I paired it with these boots that I got from Boohoo these white um, ankle booties really cute really love them and this is the second fit. I love this outfit. And actually, I wanted to pair these with jeans, but I'm happy that I paired it with this dress. It is so cute. This is the next outfit. Um, I paired these leather green pants. Really cute. Um, I got these pants from um, a pretty little thing. I believe it was last year. Um, it's very comfortable. They are high-waisted and they have some pockets 
and then I put on these um, I think they call this like the Renaissance um, like print so these this Renaissance let me come closer this Renaissance um, print long sleeve um, crop top um, it is see-through as you can see I really do love the print of this it's really cute and it does have like the outside stitching um, here coming down in the center if you guys can see this is what the back is looking like and this is what the back of the pants is looking like really cute and really comfortable like I said um, it does have some stretch to it and I'll put the sizing on the screen and I paired it with the this bag again from Shein this is like my go-to black bag that I pick up and go it's, it's really cute really simple um, my phone can fit in here um, my um, wallet my keys my lip gloss hand sanitizer whatever I need fits in here so I can just put it in there and go and then um the shoes that I have on is this um these boots how do they call these boots I think they call it, not military but lace up these lace up um platform booties I love them um I believe I got this from eBay um but I again I will link put that link in the description box if they're still available or a link something similar I do like this outfit it's really cute it's not too much I'm not sure what jacket I would um, put over this outfit maybe a black um, yeah probably my black um, coat I will put over this and this is the outfit really cute all right guys so this is the next outfit that I have um, I have this coat which is really cute this coat is actually um, from shop Ikea and a lot of different boutiques have this um, this coat um, I did see it on Shein recently but this color is sold out but they do have the black and I'll link that in the description box so you guys can get it from there or you can get it from shop Akira I do believe Aliexpress has this same coat I'll try to link that as well um, so yeah so this as you can see the sleeves is very long it's really cute and then it has then this three tone um, denim so it has this color the light blue and then it has the dark blue um, with a pocket on the arms and then in the front this is what it is looking like another pocket um, like a flap and then it has the fur with brown what material is this I don't know if it's suede it might be suede not sure um, yeah so this is what it's looking like this is the sleeve really cute um oh and it does have the suede underneath here as well it's really cute really different um denim for a jacket and it does have the fur insides um but not is it in the sleeve as well not in the sleeve yeah. Well, at least not the denim side. This side does, yeah. The the, the sweet side, but not the um, the denim inside. If you understand what I mean. Um, so yeah. So it's like a crop jacket, really warm. However, this is not something I would wear in like in the dead of winter, like 20 degrees or so. It's not going to keep you warm. Uh, this is what the back is looking like. And also I paired it with this um, long sleeve um, turtleneck top well not a top it's a bodysuit that I got from pretty little thing um, it's not thick it's really thin 
but I would say it's an okay material. It does have a little stretch to it, not that much. And then I paired it with these um, high-waisted denim jeans that I... <sighs> I honestly don't remember where I got these jeans from. It might have been um, Fashion Nova, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, I would find something similar and link that in the description box. Oh my god, my stomach is making noise. I'm hungry. Um, and then I and then these shoes. These shoes. As you can see, it's never worn. I still have the tag on it. I got this from Flight Club, and it is this um, Air Max sneakers that has like different tones of brown, which is really cute, and I really love it. And it goes well with the denim jacket. I don't know, yeah, the fur denim jacket. And um, yeah, I think this outfit is really cute. And oh, I almost forgot. Um, I also paired it with this cute brown bag that has the um, New York Yankees logo at the front and for a handle really something cute. Um, this bag I actually got with um, a bucket hat but I didn't want to wear a bucket hat with this outfit. I just think it's going to just be too much. Um, this is what the side is looking like. So I believe it does have the strap inside. Let me see. So it does have a gold strap inside so that you can um, wear it like a body cross if you want to. And it does have the magnetic, um, excuse me, clasp. It is really, really cute, small bag. Can't really hold that much, but it's really cute. And I would um, link this in the description box. I honestly don't remember where I got it from, but there are different boutiques that have this bag and I will try to link it as best as I can. This is the fit and this is another fit that I absolutely love. I love how I paired this. This is really, really cute. All right, so this is the last and final outfit that I have. All right, this jacket um, I got from, from Fashion Nova. Um, it is this oversized um, coat um, it does have some pockets on the sides however this coat is not warm so it's mostly for like the fall whether or not more so a winter it's a plaid jacket as you can see it has the red white blue black really love the colors Oh, it's really cute and simple and um, the sleeves are a little bit short as you can see I'm not sure why if you're taller than me or you have long hands this coat might not fit you the way you might want it to fit and it does have pockets it does have actual pockets and then this is what the back is looking like and the coat is really long. It goes all the way down to like behind my knees, as you can see. And then I also paired it with this top. I got this top from um, Pretty Little Thing a couple years ago. It's really cute. Um, it's like this one shoulder top. You have to like put all put over your neck across then onto the arms that has a long sleeve um it's like a what material like a, a silky stretchy material if you understand what i mean and it's really cute really comfortable it's a, actually a bodysuit not a top and also i paired it with these jeans i paired it with um these um distress um i don't know if this is like a mom jeans or like a boyfriend jeans but it's um like fitted at the top and then at the bottom is really loose i really love the distressing in the um, knee area 
and as you can see it goes all the way down really cute this is what the back is looking like I really love the fit of these jeans and then I also paired it with these um, these booties these red booties that I got I'm not sure where I got these booties from but again I like them uh, something similar in the description box and yeah this is what it's the outfit is giving and then I also the bag that I'm going to wear with this outfit is this cross body bag I don't know where I got this bag from but it's just a cute um, simple cross body bag that you can wear and it makes the outfit Guys, I haven't done a giveaway in a while. I honestly can't remember the last giveaway I did. But in the spirit of giving and the holiday season, I have decided to do another giveaway. This giveaway is all me. This is not um, by Dossier. Um, I just decided to do that on my own. However, um, I will be choosing not only one person, but two persons um, to receive one bottle of Darcia perfume. Wherever you are in the world, you are free or welcome to enter. Um, so all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like this video. Leave a comment down below with your Instagram username and or your email if you do not have Instagram and also um, the name of the dossier perfume that you would love to receive. So this giveaway um, ends December 10th, um, 2021 of course all right guys so this is the end of the video for today but before i go i wanted to let you know that if you are interested in fired luxury high-end fragrances for a fraction of the price you can click the link in my description box and enter the code samara10 at checkout to receive 10 percent off your order and again dossier is having a black friday sale so you do not want to miss out on that you can purchase fragrances for yourself or a gift for someone else so thank you guys so much for watching and stay blessed